Rifle ranges and not have a go. I love, I love rifle but ranges. But you've got to be the best, I imagine. Yeah, if someone had just won before me, I'd go, it's not worth it, it's fixed. Sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Pathetic. Yeah, so that's why my back's... It's ridiculous, isn't it? But I refuse, also, I don't... I hate not being able to do stuff. It's like I'm punishing the injury. Yeah. I know yeah. if I laid in bed for it, it'd be better, but I go, no, why should I? Yeah. It, I've used to... I used to... When I used to work a kid, I used to hit my head on the banister or something, and I used to go and get a hammer and hit the banister. <laughs> and then I started thinking, um, uh, <laughs> when I was about eight, I remember if I'd hurt myself, I'd go, ha ha, God, didn't hurt. <laughs> 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 He's up there thinking, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> How mental is that? <laughs> Carl, what are you thinking, mate? All right, rock busters, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Straight to it. Straight to it. Go on, then. Who's the winner? I've right, well, got to do the clues again. Right, the first one was, uh, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. Yeah, snappy, go on. VH. Yeah. Right, that was Van Halen. Van Halen. Halen of Van. Because he wanted something bigger than a car, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah. Uh, All the tenses one. are mixed up, <laughs> everything, it's just, we could uh, go on. Second one, don't be selfish, uh, and some of that out to your mates, that was C, that was share. Alright. It's alright. Yep. And the third one, uh, the Scottish fellas can't get into their emails, the initials there, KL, they, uh, Kenny Loggins. Right. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the last the time we do blockbusters. That no. is the last time we do it. No, no. It is. Who's that's the, the last time. It's, it's, give, it, give, it, give the prize to someone. Kenny Loggins. Uh, I'm going to give that one Kenny to... Kenny uh, Loggins. Helen Perrett, she uh, has emailed in. And uh, actually, Helen, I need you to uh, email in your address, if you would, so we can send you those uh, goodies, DVDs in the bag and stuff. Brilliant. But who would get Kenny Loggins? If the, if the clue was good, who would get Kenny Loggins? What did he do? Footloose? Yeah. That famous film about that, where, where, it? where dancing was banned. Yeah. In that nebulous... <laughs> yeah. That's an extraordinary film. I saw it once in America. Like you say, Kevin Bacon in a town where dancing has been banned. I was watching it. It was like if aliens had been watching Earth, but only monitoring us through our TV and, and films. Yeah. And then tried to make a film about humans. That's the film they'd end up with. What do, think, uh, what do they think, uh, they think of uh, Queen the Musical? Because they're, of course, <laughs> rock and roll's banned, <laughs> isn't it? In the future. That's I'm not looking forward to the future, Rick, where feelings and emotions are going to be banned. I, I can't believe it. Where's our hoverboards? Yeah. Um, so yeah, well done to, uh, to Helen Perry. Is that the last time we do Rockbusters? No. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah, time. after the break, Monkey News. No, we, we'll play, uh, oh yeah, we'll, we'll do a break. Don't know about Monkey News, got some other stuff as well. We'll do Monkey News after oh, the break. Yeah, yeah. Radiohead, they're there. Like everything they ever do, that's grown on me more and more. Oh, that is brilliant. XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Well, you know what it's time for, don't you? Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> it always gets me, that jingle. It's a joy. Yeah. What's what, please? Well, Carl, do you reckon you could sort out... Do you reckon people have real jingles with their name on it and, and don't have to say who's in the room, what's happening, and do their own jingles? Well, Christian's got one for it, for monkey news that he does. Why is Christian doing monkey news? I don't understand this. Because he did it ages ago. So you ripped it off of no, Christian? I haven't ripped it off. I said to him, I said, there's enough monkey news to go round. <laughs> Well, hold on, though. I don't want cast-offs. No, I thought this was your idea. No, let's not do it. But what's no, but wait, new? Wait, 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 on, wait. What's new? What? There's monkey news out there. It, it, I mean, if he wants to have a meeting in the week and say, well, this is the news I've got, the way I see it is, he can do it in the week. He's doing, like, the, you know, the news at ten type monkey news. We're on on a Saturday. We're like the, you know, Jeremy Paxman monkey news night. We look at stuff in more in depth. Well, you can very much right? get behind the monkey news. It's true. Yeah. You sort of interpret it. You give it your own speech. You're, you're, you're the man behind the monkey behind the news. I mean, I know that. <laughs> yeah. So, are we, so but ours is called monkey news anyway. It's sort of a generic term, like the news. But ours is called chimpanzee that, isn't it? Yeah, but he's, he's seen a bit of monkey news in it. Right. So, are we doing it or not? Well, I, I, I've got no reason I, to stop I, doing I, monkey I, news. I, I, it, it, he probably played Radiohead as well. Well, should I know. Should I we not him. do that? I said that David Attenborough did monkey news before all of us. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I, I mean, I personally don't listen to Christian because I don't get up that early. So, you know, I'm no, missing out on a lot of monkey news. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not, a, well, I'm saying I don't listen to it because I don't get up that early. Right, I'm not right. saying it's a bad show. My point is this. There's a lot of people, I imagine, who don't listen to uh, monkey news in the week. They're perhaps they miss it or they're busy. It's nice to have a little kind of omnibus monkey news at the weekend with Carl Pilkington. So right. that's what this is. So we're doing it then. Let's play the jingle. Oh, 
Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news night. <laughs> Excellent. Good. So uh, we'll sort of uh, get some monkey experts on maybe next week to dissect it. Right. You ready? Yeah. Right. Is this monkey? Right. Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Probably, internet, probably. Internet. Short Chat rooms on the internet. Short <laughs> So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time. They share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, starts mm. getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps, usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on, then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella, doing his job, and he's thinking, I can do this. All right, the monkey. <laughs> I'd love it. Yeah. He's helping out. He's uh, pulling down the levers and stuff, yeah. so the train's sort of coming on the right lines. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, he's yeah, clocking yeah. it. He sticks his head out of the little window, see the train's coming and that. I have British Rider listening. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the end... Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company happy with that. I'm sure they they, they they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point. Did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, 19, probably. Well, so. it's uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation of their news before they give it out as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> That's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh, dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in, actually, and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die? And they took your face and <laughs> transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you. Never. He always, he always has um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeve. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes. You're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth and it comes out the the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? I'm pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with what's wrong with that? You're a, you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why your, your IQ is sort of about eighty. I think you might be. You, I, I don't mean uh, there was any. I think it was a genetic sort of sort of throwback. Well, you're pretty hairy. <laughs> give your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Just look, give me that banana and shut up. Play a record. That's mine. Cheering breaks. Average man on XFM 104.9. Well, nearly another show over, Carl. You've not got a squeaky chair there. Why don't you sort that out? Have it oiled. What do you, what do, you do in the week? Do you know what I mean? Can I just, um, nominate a woman that annoyed me today? Go on. Uh, on the tube. I got off at Piccadilly Circus. Um, the sign says, mind the gap. Big sign saying, mind the gap. Voice on the, uh, tannoy says, mind the gap. Woman steps over the gap, goes, oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I was living. I was just annoyed. I wanted to slap her. There's always one in there every day. Right. Just, uh, so, so, as you walk down the street, I just feel like I want to squat certain people out the way. Well, squat them out the way. We like went, a... we went into this, uh, uh, little restaurant, me and go to, uh, me and Carl. Was it Thursday? And we're sitting down there, and, um, it's busy outside, and we were going to get to the back, she went, that's no smoking. I went, yeah, we're not going to smoke. So we sit there, right at the back, right? We get there, and there's just another, there's two women, that right, and I'm sitting there, and they light up a fag. And I go to Carl, there's meant to be no smoking. He went, yeah, so what? I went, well, it's the principle. The rules are there. He goes, he goes, rules? You say twat, muff, and shit on air. Never mind rules. Well, they've annoyed me now, right? Yeah. So the waitress comes over and he's put, he goes, oh, God, he puts his head down as well. I said, uh, I said, uh, I don't know why I said it like this. I went, um, I thought there was no smoking. <laughs> of course. Right? Yeah. She went, it is, yeah. And I went, right, okay, well, they're smoking. She went, she went, oh, well, you'd have to move then. I went, what? 
She went, do you want to smoke? I said, no, I don't want to smoke. I said, they're, I said, they're smoking over there, right? Try not to, you know. And she went, oh, well, I told you. I said, no, I don't want to smoke. They're smoking. <laughs> she went, oh, right. And I got, I got a move, didn't I? <laughs> See, that's what a it. little snitch. <laughs> yeah. But it annoyed me. Do you worry, though, that, that someone's <laughs> gonna look around and go, it's like Ricky Gervais off the telly? Yeah, well, I can't complain now. I swear, if I go in, I get bad service, I can't complain, because I think, oh, look at him, he thinks he'd complain. So I have to do it, I have to do it, um, secretly. Yeah, You know yeah. what I mean? But, um, uh, oh, there was, uh, oh, God. Right. People come up to me, they recognise me, and they all give autographs, and I, I don't mind it at all. I don't know, I never know what to say, and I'm always, you know, I say, thank you very much, I say, love the show, whatever, I say, of course, and, and that's great, and they're polite. And I was in the pub the other day, uh, and I was j just with Johnny, and, um, people have been coming up, they go, do you mind if I, I said, no, no worries at all, yeah, it's absolutely fine, all right? And, um, and then this group came in, about eight, twenty-somethings, right? And they're, they're a bit pissed up. And this woman comes up to me, right, and she goes, she stands there, she goes, ah, right, we like you in our house, right, but you're not as good as Paul Calf. And I went, oh, yeah, Steve Coogan, I said, he's brilliant, isn't he? She went, yeah, yeah, you're not as good as him. I went, oh, well. You know, it's not bad to come second to, is it? And then, because I did that, she went, she went, ah, oh, no, you're, you know, we, you know, you're great. I, I've just done my dissertation. I went, oh, right, well, it's a nurse. And she went, yeah. She went, ah, oh, right. Anyway, she went, ah, oh, can I have a hug? And I went, well, huh. she went, can I have a kiss? I went, well, not really. No. And then this woman who wanted to take a photo, she went, oh, you were so nice on the BAFTAs. I went, well, I am being nice. I just, I'd rather, I, you know, I don't know you. And I, I was, oh, God, it was embarrassing, right? And then, um, so I took a picture, right? And then she goes, anyway, and they sort of dragged her away. They make sort of dragged her away. And then, I, uh, I was going, oh, God, oh, God, God, I've got to go now, because they're over there. I said, I can't, I can't stand it. I don't mind. Uh, and, uh, she came, and she, she came over and she went, Ricky, and she sat down, and I went, I'm going. Uh, and I just, I had to go. And then I was with Johnny, and Johnny went, oh, God, I've left my bag there. So we had to go back and go, but she's going through the bag. Oh. She, she, and she went to me, you bastard, I'll never effing watch you again. I thought, well, all right. I don't know what to say, yeah. really. Nice of her to clean up her bad language. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she Family knew. pub. I know, she No, knew. I just, I got no time for it. I just think it's, I know. it's out of order. You know, I, I mean... This this whole sort of notion that that it's, if you're a celebrity you're public property I don't I just how I discount it they go people you know what you hear people say oh it's me who put you where you are today and I think well yeah thanks for watching but but we made the show and everything I we know put it, we put it on